Okay, so I got these new Eosheen EV800D goggles in, and uh, if you're a long-time viewer of my channel, you know that I reviewed the original EV800s uh, a while back, was sometime last year. It was pretty good goggles. Um, had you know, it was missing some things like a DVR, so I added a DVR to that. But this one comes with a DVR and it comes with diversity, so uh, it should be pretty interesting. Let me go ahead and take it out of the box. It comes with a really small manual. It's one page. Does look like a, there's a whole lot to this. It should be fairly simple to operate, but obviously in the review I will go over that. Looks like a little power brick here, 12 volts, two amps, and that's to charge the internal battery. This comes with an internal battery, just like the original. And it looks like this one comes with the uh, Eosheen Stingpad patch antenna. Uh, looks like got some uh, AV out cables here. Yeah, so you got a little cable here for your, um, if you want to charge through, let's say, a 3S battery. It looks like that's a 3S battery lead. You can then charge up the internal battery with an external 3S battery. And then this one looks like a cord for, I think it's AV in, uh, but it might be for AV. I'm not sure. I'll have to find out. Power cord for the power brick. And we got the another circular polarized antenna. This looks like the... Uh, the Cloverleaf uh, six-lobed uh, antenna that uh, I reviewed earlier, and uh, including a nice little bag here to um, hold the goggles, it's pretty cool. So it's the same uh, box style and uh, goggles here with the head strap and side straps. And unlike the original EV800s, they are now uh, putting the uh, padding on. Uh, or, like, oh, from the factory. They actually sent these later because a lot of people complained that it didn't come with padding. So my, my EV 800s do have the padding but uh, it didn't come with it originally. Uh, so this should be pretty comfortable. And the screen is, uh, or the um, Fresnel lens is a fixed uh, focus so you can't adjust that. There's no adjustments on the side. Here's a look at the buttons you get here. DVR, micro SD card slot here, diversity antennas. And uh, yeah, it uh, should be pretty cool. Uh, yeah, looks like that's video in over here and maybe headphones. And you got your charging port on this side. And I think there should be a tripod. Yeah, there's a tripod mount on the bottom. And just like the original EV800s, the uh, goggles separate. So you can just take this part here and uh, use it as an FPV ground station. So that's pretty cool. So anyway, I'll have a full review on this on my channel pretty soon. Okay, got a bunch more parts here. As you guys know, in my previous video, I'm switching a lot of my micros over to XC30 connectors. So I just got a pack of 10 of these. I, they're pretty inexpensive. I think they're like six bucks. Yeah, I picked up some of these uh, M2 and M2.5 uh, nylon screws. Uh, as you know, some of the uh, power cubes for the micros, the 20x20s, they, they're not all M3. Some of them are coming out as M2 and M2.5. So uh, in order to mount some of these flight controller stacks, I needed some of these different screw sizes. So I'll put a link into the, for these in the description as well. Okay, so I picked some some of these uh, Diatone 5-volt uh, uh, micro BECs. That's yeah, so what it looks like there. It's uh, mainly, mainly for some of those uh, builds where I'm using the uh, 20 amp 4 in 1 ESCs that don't have a BEC on them. And I need 5 volts because I want to use, say, like uh, SP Racing F3 or something that can't take direct battery voltage. So I just picked up a few of these for that. And I picked up some of the 16 gauge uh, silicone wire. This is uh, also uh, for the XT30 connectors. Uh, 16 gauge, I think, is going to be the uh, best size for that and without any issues in terms of current draw. So I picked up some of these. And this is the uh, X2 EOS uh, micro drone frame. It's an 80 millimeter frame. This is one where the pod goes on top and it's similar to the Alpha, but that one I think is 88 millimeter, a little bit bigger. This is supposed to uh, fit 1104, I'm uh, sorry, 1102, 1103, 1104 type motors and still be able to swing two inch propellers. I, I heard this is a pretty tight build, but uh, this frame looks pretty similar to the Elf and uh, I think it's about two, two and a half millimeters. I'll, I'll have a review on this later, we'll find out. But yeah, this is a, should be a nice little uh, park flyer build, I think. Okay, I got a bunch more props here. These are two and a half inch props. It'll allow you uh, 
multi GP guys are looking for alternatives out there to the Rotorex 2535. So we got a uh, four bladed, it's a bull nose prop, and uh, it's got these like little little markings on the bottom side here. You can actually raise there. I'm not sure if that's for aerodynamics or what. So that's the four bladed two and a half inch and then we got a five bladed two and a half inch. It's got the same etchings on the underside of the blade and also bull nosed. And then we got a seven bladed prop here also two and a half inches with the same etchings on the other side. You can see as they get more blades the blades get thinner. So it'll be interesting to see how these fly. I can't imagine this seven bladed one's going to be all that durable. I'll have to see how they do in the crash. Uh, probably not going to do a, a separate like review video on these. I'm going to be collecting a bunch of these and testing them out. If I, if I feel like there's something worth reporting I'll report something but let me know if you have questions and I'll, I'll see if I can answer them maybe in a future video as a, as a subtext for, for some other discussion. Okay, moving on. Got some more tattoo batteries here. These are uh, 600 milliamp hour 1S. I think they're 25C. Yeah, they're 25C. So I'm not sure how uh, good these will be. I'm going to compare these to the 600 milliamp ones from Eusheen, the ones that come with the brushed uh, micros like the Q95, uh, for example. I heard these are a little bit better. Let's see what the weight's like. So I'm going to be doing a 1S battery lipo, lipo roundup first, and then I'm going to move on to 2S. So this will be one of the first ones I'll be checking out. And I think they sell these at Amazon. Six of these for, uh, it's less than 20 bucks, I think. So it's a pretty good deal. And I got a whole bunch more parts here from my RC Mart. Got some Pagoda antennas. So I got some in a few different sizes. Uh, they're really, really cheap at my RC Mart. Uh, you can get a pair for, I think it's like eight bucks. And they do come in RP, SMA, and SMA variants, I believe. The only downside is that there's no protection on these plates like they are on the Emacs Pagoda antennas, but I'm gonna be 3D printing some um, little, little protection uh, mounts for this, so. Uh, that should uh, prevent that problem, at least, at least in terms of breakage. But uh, you know, if you're looking for some really cheap Pagoda antennas, uh, they're at RC, my RC Mart for like eight bucks for a pair, and I'll uh, I'll test them out. I'll see how how good they are compared to the Emacs ones. And I heard that uh, you know th there's some variations in terms of like quality of the Pagoda antennas out there. So we'll have to see if this is any good or not. And I picked up some of these uh, 1407 4100 kV motors. Uh, I'm going to be building up some three inch racers with the 20 by 20 flight controllers inside. So this should have a crap load of power. I think I'm probably gonna be getting the, uh, I think it's the Chopsticks Extreme. That's probably the one I'm gonna be putting this on. But this is a beefy motor with a lot of power for those three inch uh, builds. And also picked up these new 1105-8500 KV motors. They're King Kong branded so you know the, the King Kong makes the 1103, I think they're like 1700 kV motors and these are uh, much beefier, 1105 bigger stator and really high kV so this is going to be a pretty good motor to test on those uh, two and a half inch builds on 2S. I picked up a bunch more of these uh, DYS props, they're three inch props with the uh, T-style connector. Uh, probably going to be using these in, in some of the multi-GP builds where I'm going to cut these down to two and a half inches and uh, do some testing on this because we're looking for some alternative props to the Rotorex uh, 2535s. Uh, those are very expensive and hopefully, hopefully I can determine that, that these are going to be uh, pretty good. We'll see how they are cut down. I'm not sure. I, I really don't like cutting things down but you know uh, sometimes uh, uh, you might find a gem there if you cut something down and test it out. So I'll test that out. Also going to test out these. These are uh, uh, clones of the Rotorex uh, 3020 props. And I'll probably cut these down as well to two and a half inches. I'm gonna test these on the really high KV motors. I think uh, I have those Eshin 1102 11,500 KV motors. I heard that they, a really high KV motor, and on that small size like 1102, 1103, on a two and a half inch two blade prop, you get a lot of efficiency and a lot of uh, flight time, so, or a lot of uh, power thrust. So um, we'll test that out and see how this does. 
And here I got yet another micro frame. This is um, the uh, Quadra Volante. I believe this is a Q49. This comes in two variants. as a Q49 and Q58, I think. Um, I'll put a little picture up here of what it's supposed to look like. This is for the 16x16 16 16 Tiny Fish Flight Controller ESC stack. So it's very, very tiny. And it's for the uh, 07, 03 motors, the ones with uh, three screw holes on the bottom. And you can use a little press-on prop. So I think these use the 31 millimeter um, Tiny Whip um, props. So they just press on to the motors. This is one of the, probably one of the smallest micro uh, brushless builds you'll ever see out there. So. Yeah, it comes with some TPU accessories and um, additional plates. So I'll be doing a little build video on this. Shouldn't be that uh, difficult. Uh, I'll have to see how this one does compared to the Dust X58. It's kind of, you know, in a similar class. And I think I'll be using the 20,000 KV motors on this one as well. Because you've got such a tiny prop size here. You're going to need a really high KV motor. Okay, I got something from Newbie Drone. Looks like some tiny whip stuff here. Looks like uh, some sort of charger. Exists for the new power whip connector. XD60 plugs. And this one's like for the older connector here. Uh, wow, it must be a parallel charging board. There's That's a lot of batteries. 12 on each side. Uh, looks like they sent some motors. So you got a couple set of new motors here, black and gold. These are the six millimeter uh, newbie drone branded motors, and it's called uh, BDR65 and BDR73. I'm not sure what the specs are on these. And this looks like a the Tiny Whip kit or the Acrobi kit. It actually comes in its own case. Ooh, this is pretty cool. I thought this was a kit where you had to build stuff, but apparently it's already built. Yeah, so this one has the uh, B-Brain flight controller. I think this is Free Sky. It's got the Inductrix um, frame, but I think they've, uh, they call this something else. Uh, I forget, it's called the Cockroach frame. You can see it's a little bit different here. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Oh yeah, it's definitely a lot stiffer. You get a FX805 camera, and it's in a plastic, uh, like a injected molded plastic case. Not there was a TPU or uh, 3D printed ones that break all the time, so it's kind of cool. And you got a linear whip antenna, and these look like the standard motors, silver. And it's got the power whip connector, pretty cool. So yeah, all ready to go. No mods needed. Well, let's see how, that, how this is uh, compares to my the, my my custom built tiny whip. And we got some nitro nectar batteries. This is a high volt, 4.35 volt, uh, 250 milliamps, 30 to 60 C. Should just slide right back here. Yeah, fits in nice. And then, yeah, yeah, you got the USB port here in the bottom. Pretty cool. Yeah, I'll have to get this bound up to my Tyrannus and take this for a spin.